Understanding the association between pressure ulcers and sitting in adults. What does it mean to me and my carers? Seating guidelines for people, carers and health and social care professionals. As adults who sit for extended periods of time, we are increasingly aware of the risk of pressure ulcer development. We were asked to be involved in the development of the guidelines as stakeholders and listening event attendees. This is important as evidence suggests we, the end users, are important in the creation of healthcare policy and decision making. Our role was to act as reviewers of the guidelines and to help with the definitions and language used. We also helped with key elements of the guidelines so people can understand them. The purpose of this video is to provide you with up-to-date information regarding the risk of developing a pressure ulcer through sitting for extended periods of time. Now, here comes the science bit. A pressure ulcer is an injury to the skin and or underlying tissue, usually over a bony prominence. Sitting for long periods of time increases the risk of a pressure ulcer developing. This is due to the soft tissue in the buttock area being squashed between the seat and the bony bits of the bottom, leading to skin damage. Some pressure ulcers develop quickly and others take longer, so it is important to know the risks. Each year, 700,000 people are affected by pressure ulcers, costing the NHS £3.8 million per day. There are many different reasons that can influence a person's risk of developing a pressure ulcer. For example, limited mobility, nerve damage which reduces feeling pain or pressure, impaired thinking and reasoning, poor nutrition, poorly managed continence and poor health and circulation. A useful test to assess risk can be found at the React to Red website. Being aware of risk factors in sitting will help to decide if you need to seek professional advice and equipment. So where do pressure ulcers develop when seated? bony parts of the buttocks, top of the buttock crease, widest part of the thigh when seated, back of the knee, areas where bones of the spine are close to the surface of the skin, shoulder blade, heels, elbows, back of the head and between the knees. Regardless of whether the person has a short or long term mobility issue, there are essential factors that should be considered and include seat width, seat depth, leg rests, foot plate, seat height, back rest, head rest and arm rests. Getting the right chair or wheelchair can be complex and trained individuals can carry out a comprehensive assessment of needs which includes information about the person, the carer, the chair, the cushion or the wheelchair and any other information such as the environment, a person's individual comfort and the look of the chair. A key part of any seating assessment is a requirement to inform and educate the individual and their family and carer about why the cushion or the chair may be provided, how to use, maintain and look after the equipment and the potential impact of their lifestyle on the prevention and management of pressure ulcers. Occupational therapists are often the healthcare professional who will carry out a specialist seating assessment and prescribe equipment. This is often in collaboration with other members of the interprofessional team. This may include the tissue viability nurse, doctor, physiotherapist or clinical engineer. There are six actions that you need to be aware of in order to reduce your risk of developing pressure ulcers. Skin. Inspect at-risk areas regularly throughout the day. Use a blanche test to assist with this. Surface. Getting the right seating equipment and using it correctly. Keep moving. Change position at regular intervals. Incontinence. Advice can be sought on the use of appropriate creams, pads, pants and other equipment from your GP, practice nurse or district nurse. Nutrition. A well-balanced diet and fluid intake is essential. Sickness. It is important to maintain a healthy lifestyle as becoming generally unwell increases the chance of developing a pressure ulcer. If you want to know more about the risk of pressure ulcers developing when seated for extended periods of time, there are lots of useful resources. 
The full guidance document is available on the Tissue Viability Society website.